now keeping you and your family safe. This is Two Works For You Weather, certified most accurate. Dan Threlkeld has the evening off. Well, this is how it's gone. You know, yesterday we were in the 70s. Southwestern Oklahoma was in the 80s. Today, Missouri in the 70s. 85, that was the high from the metro area. Southwest Oklahoma in the 90s. Tomorrow, these 90s, they are heading directly toward us. It's going to be a very warm day tomorrow. With that high of 90, we were talking about this earlier tonight. It's just very interesting. The record high for tomorrow is the latest triple-digit day of the year, 102 degrees. That's the last day we've reached 100, the latest in the calendar year. 79, the average high for tomorrow. But, you know, we get 90s going into October. On October 30th, the record high is 90 degrees. So all of a sudden, once you get into October, those 90s are the records, but we've seen them, likely see some very warm temperatures coming up next week. Tonight, though, it's clear, it's quiet, it's mild, it's 70. The humidity and dew point both at 51. That's fairly dry, and the winds are calm. We already have a few 50s out there, some 60s in that 170 in the metro area. But tomorrow morning, it will be warmer than what we saw out there this morning. So a lot of those 40s are going to be gone and most of us will bottom out in the low to mid 50s. So here's the future cast. After that cool start of the day tomorrow, high pressure slides to the east. That's a light southwest wind. That's that hot air just being pulled right in from southwest Oklahoma. So with abundant sunshine, dry air in place, even though we're going to start off in the 50s, that dry air warms up quite rapidly. In fact, We'll be 35 degrees warmer for the afternoon high than we were for the overnight low. That's quite a point spread coming up tomorrow. So, again, as we flirt with 90 tomorrow. Now, down in here, you see this boundary to the south of that? That's where all the Gulf moisture is, and it's trapped down there. So that as this next front comes in, we don't have any rain with it, but it will turn breezy and cooler by the end of the day on two, on Thursday. So by Thursday afternoon, even though we're in the 80s, you're going to start to notice the cool air filtering in. And by Friday, we're only going to be in the 70s for afternoon high. But the pattern, th this week's pattern is what we've seen all along. Big old ridge of high pressure out to the west, a trough to the east, so it's cool here. It's very warm here. And what happens with this weather pattern that we've been in is that takes the Gulf moisture and slings it up the east coast. And that's where they've really seen the heaviest rain over about the past month or two, really throughout much of the summer, as all this moisture has been flung in this direction. The computer models are hinting. At a change next week. Now, I got to tell you, it's not locked in, but, but this has been fairly consistent, what I've been seeing in the maps the last few days, where we flip flop the pattern. All of a sudden, now uh, you have a big old trough in the west, big old area of low pressure. You have the ridge in the east, and what this allows is the moisture to come in from the Gulf of Mexico so that as this storm system approaches, we might actually have some juice for it to work with, it might actually get some rain. But this is eight or nine or ten days away. But it has our interest because if we don't get any rain out of that, it could be a while. So forecast tonight, 56. That's the low of the metro. We'll call it low to mid-50s, mostly clear skies and a northeast wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour tomorrow. It will be hot. Again, not a record. The record 102. We won't do that. We've done that enough this year. But uh, mid to upper 80s in the northeast, low 90s towards Stillwater, Oklahoma City, Bristow, and McAllister. Okay, here's the seven-day forecast. So, again, uh, at, at least through the end, uh, we'll call it the middle to end of next week, the dry weather pattern will continue. But a couple of very warm days, some cooler days. And then I see those temperatures really going back up toward the middle part of next week ahead of that western storm that would be our next chance for rain and see here's Tuesday carry on Wednesday Thursday Friday so about day you know 10 <laughs> <laughs> maybe some relief there tomorrow that, tomorrow's gonna feel a little bit more like summer almost mm -hmm. I, I'll tell you what the summer of 2011 is like an unwanted guest it's long time for it to go but it's <laughs> not there yet this won't leave us yet right. all right thanks Andy